uh, let's look at the episode on uh, inverse proportion. This is coming from uh, the last uh, subtopic on direct proportion, where we looked at several examples that um, had to do with uh, direct proportion. So now, what we are going to do here is to establish uh, the general form of writing the equation of an inverse proportion. Okay, so I'm not going to take time uh, explaining uh, theories and everything, but from the direct proportion uh, re relationship, we said if one uh, variable is increasing, let's say this is y, the other one would also be increasing by some constant k, all right, in the same direction. So we said if two uh, variables are related directly, if one increases, the other one will also be increasing by some constant k, all right, that's direct uh, relationship. But for uh, inverse proportion, get me nicely, inverse proportion means that if one is increasing, all right, the other one will be decreasing by some, some constant k divided by the x. So this is just what I want to start by saying. For a direct proportion, this was the relationship, but for inverse uh, relationship, it's this one here so if one is increasing for inverse the other one will be decreasing by some term k which is constant of proportion divided by that um, other variable there so having this um, on mind we need to say if y is inversely proportional to x it means we can write this as y inversely proportional to x all right and then if you remember what we were doing for a uh, direct proportion we change this to equal signs the moment we do that the formula becomes y equals to k over x where k is constant of proportion so constant of proportion so i'm just going to write this in case you missed the previous video so this is the relationship which is there so this means we are saying y is inversely proportional to um, x and then how we write that is this and then we change the the proportion sign to equal sign we also not forgetting to introduce the k so k is a constant of proportion and will be given um, uh, values that would help us find k before we can do another thing on these questions here so now it means if maybe someone says um, y is inversely proportion so for inverse proportion i would be using p to um maybe square root okay square root of x okay so square root of x it now means to write our formula in this form here they said square root of x we are going to say y is inversely proportional to one over the square root of x so now when we do this we need to change this to an equal sign the moment we do that we will need to say y is equal to where there is one we need to put our constant of proportion which is k over the square root of x so this is the formula now for such a scenario there so i want you to very much uh, relate this concept to the direct proportion concept that we started looking at it is very very important that we get to understand these terms here so for example i can say uh, let's say if a is uh, inversely proportional to maybe uh, cube root okay to cube root cube root of b then to write the relationship in terms of inverse proportion we are going to say a is inversely proportion to cube root so cube root of b is that three over b there and then we convert this into an equal sign so then the formula to this one becomes a inversely proportion then once we convert this guy here into an equal sign we introduce the constant of proportion and say now cube root of b so now this is the formula to use for such a scenario there so guys this is just a very short introduction to uh, formulation of a formula on inverse proportion so it's got nothing complicated about it but the general form is just this one here where we say that one over uh, x and then this changes to equal sign and then we introduce the k over x so it depends on how 
they are saying their relationships are so sometimes it can be x squared it can be another term that you can use but this is the general form i want you to understand so i'll be posting shortly the examples on inverse proportion just as i did for direct proportion so that you can understand what these concepts are so guys please if you are a youtube fan subscribe to my youtube channel and give give me a like i appreciate that a lot and if you are a facebook fan please uh, like my page and share to your colleagues uh, watch out for more examples on this and thank you very much